I'm going to close with, uh, I was going through my, um, my journals, my African journals. You know, I, I claim myself a writer at the, at the world stage, but when I look back, when I was sending letters home, this was written in 1972, <laughs> but I was sending these letters home to Africa, and I always had a poet friends, for a lot of poet friends, and I would always get these letters back, and they'd say, you're a writer, you're a writer, you're a writer. And I just, mm. <laughs> But I found this, and I thought, hmm. That's for Joseph Jarman. I don't know if any of you know him, but he was a saxophone player with the Chicago Art Ensemble. Unbelievable avant-garde group. And um, I wrote this little book for him before I went to Africa, and it's got all little stuff. It's, like, somehow it got wet, and some drawings and stuff. And so um, uh, we just was really close friends. So this is uh, for Joseph, Joseph Jarman. And in my room, candlelit, listening to records, a little loaded, but not alone, then very alone. So I said, go on and have a talk with Joseph Jarman. Been a long time. Why did you come to me out of everywhere? Yeah, you, yesterday, today, now tomorrow coming. And I just wrote, it been a long time. Where are you now beside with me? Where are you? What you doing beside reading me? What you doing? Who you loving beside me? Who you loving when you coming to be beside me? When you coming? Not been riding, reading a lot. No artwork either. Moves changing. Think I'm going to paint when the money comes. Broke, rent paid, now food, rain every day. Africa, Nigeria, getting ready for her crops. Fighting and bending her ways. Culture taken in and out. Moved to another house in town. Learning more. Ikeens adjusting like the bush. As so soon for more children got them grown. Ife, Dor, and Saikim. All I can do is look on. Pain, sleep won't come. Waiting, sun up, people moving, prayers said, music sounds blowing. <laughs> Thank you very much.